aboard Star White. We've made a number of changes, modifications, and what we like to consider improvements over the years. This video is a brief explanation of some of those modifications. I hope you find it interesting. Thanks for watching. You may have noticed the finishing washers and screw heads on some of the trim pieces here in the main salon area. When we built this cabinetry, we wanted to make sure that should we need to get up into the bulwarks or under the decks to repair anything, that it was a simple procedure. I didn't want to have to be drilling out bungs. I wanted to be able to simply unscrew things and take them out of the way. So any cabinetry that we have built in a place where we might need to have access in the future, we've assembled it using screws with trim washers so that we can take everything apart and get at anything behind there that we might need access to. This is another example of where we used screws and finish washers to install pieces of cabinetry that we may need to be removing at some point. Uh, behind this area here is the deck drain. It's certainly possible at some point in time we may need to make access to that. Hence the use of screws and trim washers. Over here at the chart table, again, we have used trim washers and screws to assemble the cabinetry for the new AC and DC panel. Star White's overhead panels and teak battens are also secured with screws and trim washers. Another Westsail 28 owner noticed that we had changed our compression post and was asking me about it. We didn't actually change the post. The compression post is still the original one that came in the boat. What I did is I added an extra piece down the side here that is then through bolted to the original compression post. The original compression post is three pieces of teak, uh, I'd say it's roughly one by four, that are laminated together. And over time, the glue and the laminations can separate. So this was just a solution to make sure that that did not happen. Additionally, I added a beam across the top here, which is through bolted through the cabin top and through bolted to the bulkhead. Just as additional strengthening for the entire compression post assembly. Here you can see the head of one of the carriage bolts. I chose carriage bolts because I knew that as I tightened them down I could suck them in to where they were almost smooth with the outer edge of the compression post. I suppose I actually could have done a countersink and completely flush them in but I didn't feel that was really necessary. On the opposite side here we have a large washer, a fender washer, and then a cap nut. Additionally, on the overhead beam here, we have a nut and a cap nut. Um, the reason for two is uh, I was too lazy to cut off the head of the screw and shorten it. So this gave it a little bit more of a decorative look. You may have noticed this shiny silver spot on the compression post. It's a silver dollar. It is supposed to be good luck to have a silver coin under your mast.